different users have different needs. In the original joystick design, which is on Thingiverse, which is one that I really like, that I've modified myself, it's about, let's see, one, two, three, about four inches long. That has a lot of open space inside. Now, on some of the designs, I have a circuit board here, so it needs to be this big. Uh, in this case, it could be smaller because I'm going to go through the X1, X2 on the Xbox adaptive controller. So it's just going to have the wires, no brains or anything behind it. So I had a request to come up with something smaller because, well, let's be honest, every person's situation is going to be different. These are very much one-off custom design things for folks, and you have to fit their needs. So what I've done is printed out a couple of samples that we're going to try out, and these I'm going to mail to the team so that they can see what will work and what won't. This one is probably the smallest. Uh, again, these are all Thingiverse designs. I have not created anything from scratch yet because I want to print out what people have done already. Uh, it's a two-part design. It's very small. So it is about an inch and a half by an inch and a quarter. Sorry, metric people. I'm still an American and I use the antiquated stuff. Anyhow, PS2 standard sort of joystick that is inexpensive from Amazon. We'll go in here. This design isn't super hot because I can't get the wires where I want them to, but you get the idea. So use it for size. That was one of them. Another one is, is like a wee uh, nunchuck design where you would hold it like this. It's got this big old grip area. This is kind of a neat design. They, they haven't exactly fit it for the board properly. Or maybe my boards are just different. But it, it, it's kind of neat. I, I actually like this this one. But I'm able to have a grip, and I know a lot of folks can't have that grip, though it's a relatively light grip. What's also interesting about this one is the person has already designed it to put push buttons into here, which I don't know if I would use, but it's nice that they were thinking about it. It's uh, This one's a little more, this one's right-handed because I could see how the finger would go there, another finger there, and then the joystick. So that's another design. And let's see, third design is this one, which is clips together, and then you'd have the joystick in there like that. And I don't know, I'd have to futz with it to get it to, oh, there it's kind of clicked. This one's pretty small. What's interesting is they did this wedge design on the bottom and you say, why did they make this wedge design? Well, because the person who did this wanted to have it up against their keyboard. So it would just sit on the desk like that and then they could move it like that, which I thought was kind of neat. The wedge also, is not a bad way of holding this, I found. I was a little skeptical at first, but it ends up being not too bad. So these are the uh, first three alternate designs that I've done. That I Well, I haven't done them. I've 3D printed them to test out to see what works best for the person I'm helping with on this. Here's the original one, so you can get that for scale. Um, what I'm waiting on today is, or maybe tomorrow, will be instead of the PS2 sticks, I ordered uh, replacement sticks for the that would normally work on a Nintendo Switch. So they're smaller, lighter. They aren't don't quite have as much tension as these do, which. For some users, they need a lot of tension and, you know, like a really big ball on the top of it. But for other users with less, with more limited movement, um, 
a little bit of movement makes a whole lot of difference. And this is where eventually we can go beyond these joysticks to different sorts of sensors which could monitor much smaller movements if need be. So first stage, find a case, a size that works and then um, try it with the inexpensive devices like these PS2 joysticks. If that doesn't work, then we look towards more advanced technology and there's a lot of really neat stuff out there. So there's always a solution to the problem. More to come.